First of all, this is not an apology. I'm going to be apologizing for making a mistake. For saying that if we don't pay tight, you might not make it to heaven. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's not in the Bible. What the Bible says is, he has peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see God. Now, let me tell you. Listen to me. You know, it is possible to be right and wrong at the same time. I prove it to you. I mean, I'm a scientist, so I know that. For years, we taught that light travels in straight lines. Now, is that correct? At least those of you who know a little bit of physics will say, sure, the light doesn't bend at corner, it goes straight. But later on, we discover it's not just more, not straight as a rod, light travels in waves, going in one direction, but in waves. It is wrong to limit you to 10%. At a time when some of you should be 20%, 30%, 40%, 10% should be for beginners. Giving should be violently. Violently. This can never be an apology. Rather, a mockery and to manipulate people into even paying more. Talking about 10% is for beginners and using a very stupid and wrong physics to further manipulate the situation. Imagine, Pastor Pablo, somebody will call him a, a puppet bandit. False doctrine by old men. False doctrine by people we should respect. False doctrines by people who have amassed so much wealth and influence that they think they are gods. How can you say that Adam ate his tithes? That was why he was driven from the Garden of Eden. Did you read it in the Bible? Or your greedy mind conjured it? How can you say, if you don't pay your tithes, you will not make heaven? Full stop! Baba, authority, assistant God. And then, the Mumu members, they were just... I called you Mumu because you don't reason on your, on your own. You can, you can hate me. Don't invite me to your churches. I don't care. Then after saying that, uh, if you don't pay tight, you will not make heaven. Then you came up to apologize. At this age, Papa, this age, what prompted you to teach that false doctrine? Did you not research? Did you not consult before coming on air to make such categorical statements? This is not that era. That era of touch not my anointed is for intimidation. It's T-O-U-C-H. This era is T-O-R-O-C-H. They will lie to you. They will pursue you. They will drag you. When you people touch those rubbish things, there was no social media. Now, all this money, 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 money is for self-aggrandizement. And when Baba came to apologize, he brought physics that light travels in waves and no longer in a straight line. Baba, we study this physics now. If the photons of energy in light are coming in waves, the wave is sinusoidal, but the direction is straight unless it enters a denser medium and then there is deviation. Or if it enters like diamond, then there is dispersion and then you get red, orange, yellow, indigo, violet. But even through that medium, it still goes straight. We studied physics. The, the truth that you people bent night went through the medium of ego, oh, 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 ego, oh, oh, kudi. that's the medium that has bent the light. And you, Baba, you can't be right and be wrong at the same time. These people use your brains. Don't be mumu in church. And then said you can give 20, 30, 40. I was listening to a bell demeanor. I don't believe everything he says. But he said the tight is from the word tent. Tent, 10%. Once it goes to 30, 40, 50%. It's no longer tight. It is generosity. It is giving out of free will. Seek God for yourself. You will find him. Worship him in spirit and truth. Don't idolize Dr. Pookie. This one that we are preaching, people are preaching false doctrines and they're coming to apologize. Be careful who you believe. Follow me as I follow Christ. If Paul leaves the road, look for Christ. Don't idolize men.